Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to enable Adobe Atmos on your PS5. But first and foremost, I would like to thank the YouTuber Palfi18 for showing me and telling me how this is done because I couldn't get it to work. I made a previous video on how the 4K Blu-ray player on the PS5 is doesn't have the 3D audio surround sound as it does on Xbox Series X. And I'm probably gonna just delete that video because that video is now obsolete. Um, but the good news is that with our community of gamers and movie watchers, home theater, entertainment, etc., we can all learn from each other. And, and this is something that Sony always does. Uh, Sony has done this in the previous um, models. Uh, long story short, I'll give you guys a quick rundown here. Um, Sony back in the days came up with the the DVD players, but then when you when you pop in a DVD player, you have to find the surround sound. It, it it's not by default. Um, and then when it came out with the Blu-ray players, uh, even on um, the PlayStation Three, I think. But on the Blu-ray player, for sure, by default, it's not on the highest quality. It's on like PCM or it's just it's not Dolby Digital. Long story short, and why am I not surprised? They did it again. They hide these features that that consumers want that. Assuming every on every other platform and devices it's on by default and if you don't want that then you can change it But for some reason it's hidden and no one knows anything about it so Like I said, I want to thank Palfi again Thank you. Thank you very much for bringing this to my attention, but to, in order to uh, Play Dolby Atmos on your ps5 It will not work as of right now. It will not work on games, but it will work for your 4K disc that has Dolby Atmos. So that's your 4K disc. When you pop it in, that has Dolby Atmos capabilities. The way you set it is that on your PS5 console, you want to uh, leave it on linear PCM. So don't put it on Dolby or don't and don't put it on DTS. Leave it on linear PCM. Then you pop in your disc, play your disc, and then when your disc is playing, whatever move it is, you got to go to the options of the disc while it's playing though. Play the movie first while it's playing, uh, push <clears throat> options or start or options on your play PS5 controller, uh, bring up those icon and the, the three dot on the bottom, you know, I demonstrate in the background here. Click on that, and then you go to settings, and then you change it from PCM to Bitstream, and then you're gonna get that. Co uh, it will decode Dolby Atmos um, coming off your True HD. So, I <laughs> wow, I did not know that they still. I don't know who's working at Sony. I don't know who's in charge of Sony, but you guys, I made a, a video about this complaining about the default settings of Sony brands. And devices in general back in the days I thought by now that this doesn't happen but apparently it does so that is how you get Dolby Atmos when you play a 4k disc on a uh, on the ps5 console so that is pretty much it gotta make this quick video to let you guys know what I just found out so hopefully this uh, clears up any uh, confusion um, and whatnot on this Dolby Atmos uh, in, uh, capabilities on the PS5, because when I read, when I actually did research it, uh, it says that it doesn't do it, and you pretty much gotta find it in in the Reddit uh, from uh, other co consumers. But that's it. Shots out again, once again. Thank you very much, uh, Palfi18, and. Um, That'll just wrap it up for this video. Comments below. Keep it friendly. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hooded Dragons out.